presenting Greenwood Primary School E2K journey for 2020. This is our school vision, mission and values. E2K program aligns to our vision, mission and values with five strategic trusts to guide the direction of the school. E2K program in our school aligns to the SDP. The nature of E2K promotes a positive classroom culture as people learn to build trust and rapport during their discussion. We also make use of different formative assessment strategies on top of the E2K pedagogy to help us in facilitating our classroom discussion. Here are some examples of formative assessment strategy that we use. E2K program allows self-directed learning and opportunities for teachers to provide meaningful feedback to the pupils. E2K program greatly encourage learning, engage pupils and facilitate collaborative learning. This is the journey of our E2K in 2019. We have a class size of 2 to 20. Uh, we have one E2K teacher who is trained and the other one is untrained E2K teacher. Now there's deeper engagement of pupils where E2K trained teachers supporting one another and there are more sessions for each topic where focus discussion and planning uh, before pupils carry out actual experiments. We have a three-tier selection process where we look at the results first. We will shortly pupils who scored more than 85 marks in the end of year exam. Uh, we will do a checklist by the gifted education branch and this is recommendation by science teachers as well as we will have a question air done by the pupils. This is an example of our question air that is done by the pupils. E2K in Greenwood is conducted during our science supplementary slots. As our supplementary lessons are only 45 minutes, each topic was covered over a few supplementary lessons. What you see in the current slide is our supplementary lessons for Primary 5. As you can see in Term 3, there is no sub-lessons due to our school program. In this slide, you will see some challenges that the teachers faced in our E2K journey for 2019. First, it has to do with time constraint, and um, we are always looking at more time for each session as the discussion during the lesson are thought-provoking. There is always deeper conversations that took place after pupils had gotten their experimental results. However, there is always insufficient time for every group to explore their results deeper. Next, we had problems with change of uh, changeover in the science lab in 2019. Our P5 E2K lessons comes right after our P4 E2K lessons. As such, there are some time, there was some time being wasted during the changeover in the use of science lab. Moving forward, we looked into looking into long we look into longer weekly sessions and also planning such that there is a smooth change over the use of science lab. We are very happy with the selection criteria that we had put in place in 2019. So we we actually will continue with this structure. In 2019, we ensure that at least one teacher is E2K trained. This year, we ensure that both teachers in the classes are E2K trained to better facilitate the sessions. As this is the third year we are conducting our E2K, we had a good sensing of how much discussion can take place within a given time. As such, the team has broken up the worksheets into different sections so that they will only be focusing on a selected section for each week. That allows more focus and deeper discussion. Worksheets are also given a week before the lesson and pupils are able to read the story before attending the lesson. As mentioned earlier, in 2019, our P5 E2K lessons are right after P4 E2K lessons. Thus, it takes some time for the changeover in the use of our science lab. During our planning for this year, we ensured that there is at least a 30, 30 minutes gap between P4 and P5 E2K lessons so that the lab is set up for each level prior to pupil's arrival. Looking into longer weekly sessions, we were also able to find time in our school calendar to conduct additional two sessions of two-hour lessons and this allows our pupils to have uh, more exploration and deeper discussion. We are now planning to look into blended learning for our E2K lessons. 
It will commence the blended learning once green light is given to commence E2K. Our plan for P4 E2K for 2020 is the same as what we did for 2019. This is our plan for E2K for P5 2020. In 2019, we covered three topics. In 2020, we will be covering five topics in total. Unfortunately, our plans are currently put on hold due to the current situation. We've collected some reflections from pupils taking E2K and they have, we have received positive feedback from them. The following two slides are our teachers' reflection. Our teachers also benefited from this program and they enjoy conducting E2K. In general, our teachers felt that E2K allowed them to engage their pupils in scientific investigations and gaining 21st century competencies. Most importantly, pupils get to experience what scientists do. They plan, experiment, fail, analyze the mistake, and plan again. To end off, I would like to share a quote by Thomas Edison shared in one of our teachers' reflection. I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thank you.